The umpiring of the matches in this video is not uniformly bad. Most of it is very competent. So I am focusing on the incidents in which the decision was, I think, incorrect. I think the award of a penalty stroke was unjustified here because the goalkeeper had moved across to cover the fullback and a probable goal was not prevented by the ball contact with the body of the fullback. This incident also touches upon an area in which I have a bee in my bonnet, the dangerously played ball. There is supposed to be an emphasis on safety, but the ball was propelled at the neck height of the defender, that is, at what I consider to be in a, a dangerous way. I believe there should be a height limit on any ball propelled at another player at high velocity, and that height could sensibly be the sternum height of an upright standing player. There isn't an emphasis on safety at the moment. There is an emphasis on excitement and the spectacular, that is, on the dangerous. Dangerous play is encouraged and rewarded in these circumstances. This penalty stroke decision looks flat out wrong to me. The attacking player comes from behind the defending player and the goalkeeper, that is from a position where she cannot possibly be obstructed. And to me, she just barges into the back of the defender. It's the attacker who commits the foul. These kinds of incidents make me cross. There is no reason whatsoever why a ball player who has had the ball forced into their feet should be penalised. The deletion of the forcing rule did not automatically turn the offence upside down so that it then became an offence by the de defender. In the second incident, the ball is actually lifted into the feet of the defender, which is a foul in itself. When a contact is forced in this way, unless the ball is lifted, the umpire should be just calling play on. There was no need at all for the umpire to blow his whistle in this incident. The goalkeeper knocks the ball back into an attacker on the ground. The defenders have the ball but are prevented from developing their play because they're asked to take the ball back and take a 15 metre hit. Very poor play by the defenders here to concede a goal, but the umpire should have penalised the player who lifted the ball into the circle from the flank. It passed a player just outside the circle at about chest height and obviously disadvantaged her. That is a foul. There was nothing accidental about lifting the ball into the circle there. A pass or a shot at the goal. My own feeling is that if a second attacker puts a stick to the ball and propels it towards the ball goal, then the first propelling of the ball is a pass. I also think a deflection ought to be regarded as a hit in these circumstances. Otherwise we're just facilitating easy circumvention of the restrictions on the first shot at goal and facilitating dangerous play. These are two areas the FIH Rules Committee need to address. And here we have the standard response when a dangerous shot is made at the goal. The ball is propelled directly at the defender at about neck height. The, the defender evades it and a goal is awarded. I don't think these players are as much as five metres apart.